Hello everyone, Share Technology, Share Life. Today I will share with you a special method of installing Google JMS with a virtual machine, which is applicable to all Huawei mobile phones and tablets, including P50, MatePad 11, and Honor series. This method has brought me a big surprise, and I believe this method will also bring you a big surprise. The YouTube installed by this virtual machine can be played when your phone screen is off, which means it will be power saving for your battery. If you only needed to listen to the sound in the YouTube video without turning on the phone screen, plug in your earphones and put the phone in your pocket and listen to the YouTube video sound while walking or jogging and listen to the music or talk show from YouTube videos, this method will be very suitable for you because the phone will be more power saving by listening to the sound of YouTube videos when the phone screen is turned off. Okay, I will show you step by step on my Huawei phone. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my Huawei phone. Let's go to the settings to check my software version, system and software update. You can see now it is uh, the Harmony OS 2, the latest version and my software is up to date. So I'm using the latest Harmony OS 2. Okay, I'm a Huawei phone. Let's go back to the desktop. Then I will show you the virtual machines using this method to installing the Google JMS and the user experience. How is it look like? So this is my real phone of the real Huawei phone. And here you can see this bubble, which means a virtual phone. Here, click this bubble, then uh, you can uh, turn to this desktop. This is my virtual phone, which we already installed the Google uh, Play Store and Google GMS already in this virtual phone. So it's very easy and straightforward to use. You can see this is my real phone and then you want to use your Google app, Google YouTube, YouTube and Google Drive, something like that. Then you can uh, switch to your this phone. So this switch to this uh, uh, virtual phone. Go back to a real phone and switch to your virtual phone. It's very easy to use. And you want to see YouTube or want to use Google Drive, then you can install in the virtual phone. For example, like me, this one, I will check to, let's have a look. And you can see I'm playing the videos. Then, then I can switch off, switch off the screen. Then you can st still see that uh, still play in the background so if you are jogging or you're walking and you're doing, doing some sports then you can listen to the talk shows and listen to the music from the YouTube video very easy to use yeah then I can switch on this screen and I can switch to my real phone you can see you can still hear this uh, uh, voice of my videos and then when you can switch back switch back to the YouTube you can see that the support for the game will be yeah it's very easy right so go back to a real phone close the real phone so it will be battery saving the power saving and it will make your battery last for a longer time when you are listening to the YouTube videos okay so go into this bubble here you can still is playing Update. then click this I'm one to so go back to this uh, YouTube so it's very easy to use version. right okay now then I just uh, click it's stop and uh, you can go back go back and go back to your uh, virtual phone this desktop okay so go back to the real phone now I will delete these uh, applications to uninstall uninstall these applications and I will show you step by step how to install this virtual machine which already consists of the Google GMS Google Play in that virtual machine virtual phones in your Huawei's real phone okay now let's click the browser and uh, visit this uh, web address vmos.com I will uh, paste this link down below this video description so you can uh, click the video description Cl click this link and uh, go to the website to download this APK file okay we click the vmos pro download link click this one okay then we click download because uh, I already downloaded then I can download again I click download then wait for several seconds I think then after download finished then you can uh, uh, install this APK okay finished the download then uh, it will automatically pop up for the installation okay I click allow and click install to install this uh, application 
and onto your Huawei's phones, your Home Harmony OS phones. Okay, let's click down and go back to your desktop. You can see this uh, application already on your desktop. Then we click this application to have a look. And here, some instructions, we, you can click agree. Then there are some instructions. Yeah, then click enter VMOS Pro. And give some authorizations here. Click this one, blue button, and set up now to give the flow permission to be displayed on the top of another app. To enable this option, and go back and give some authorities. Allow only while use, allow only while in use, allow, allow while only use, allow. Okay, then uh, we can select uh, the left one. This one, the left, left one, this one. Then uh, we click this advertisement, close it, close this advertisement, and click add virtual machine, click this plus button. Then you need to select the correct one. We need to select this icon, which or which with the Google Play Store icon here, with the Google Play Store icon in this, uh, you can see, in this here. So we need to select this one. So with the Google Play Store icon here, click download this button download so it uh, needed to wait uh, several minutes or several seconds it all depends on your speed of your network to download this uh, uh, these files this uh, operation files okay the download was finished then we click this blue button again to load this uh, operation file into your virtual machine we click add this one blue button then the virtual machine is loading your uh, room loading this virtual machine your virtual phones onto your uh, virtual machine okay just wait several seconds I think several seconds okay your virtual machine already loaded you can see now the Play Store is already on your desktop here yeah the Play Store already on your desktop then we can using this Play Store to, and uh, to download YouTube, Google Drive, something like that. We click sign in to sign in your Google account. Okay, to key in your account, Google Gmail, G Gmail address. So you can switch the uh, keyboard, like switch the keyboard here. Click this button, so you can switch the keyboard from Chinese and the English. You change switch keyboard into English and uh, key in your Google Gmail, uh, Gmail address. After keying your Gmail address, then click Next. And key in your password, then click Next. And go back, click Skip, and click I agree. Back up to Google Drive, switch off, click Accept. Yay, we already logged into the Google's uh, application store, Google App Store. Now let's search for the YouTube. Okay, search for the YouTube and install the YouTube. Okay, we finished the installation of YouTube, then we search for the Google Drive. Drive. Just search for the drive. I think the first one should be Google Drive. Yeah, we click in the Google Drive and click install. Okay, Google Drive finished. Then we install another one like uh, the Google Mail, Gmail. Gmail, here, this one, the Gmail, click that one. And click install to get the Gmail. Okay, the Gmail was finished, the installation. Okay, we then go back to the desktop. You can see we already installed YouTube, Drive, and Gmail. And if you want to go back to your real phone, just like see, you can see this is a real phone desktop and go back to your virtual phone, right? So in the virtual phone, we just uh, open the YouTube to have a look. Yeah, the YouTube was successfully play, installed and can be played normally, so it's very good. So now let's go to and your uh, account already logged in, okay? Logged in because you already logged in to the Google Play Store. Then we go to the drive have a look. Yay! The drive also uh, can be uh, loaded successfully. So you can uh, see your uh, synchronized uh, files on the cloud, on the Google Cloud. Your files is already there. 
Okay, so let's go back to Gmail. Click the Gmail. Then we go to Got It. Then you can see your account already logged in to your Gmail, uh, this application. Then take me to Gmail. Click that one. Okay, so now you can see your Gmail was synchronized to your local application, to your local uh, phones. Okay, so we go back to the desktop phone again. So uh, this is a virtual uh, phone, just simulated a virtual phone which already has the GMS uh, installed, uh, the Google's environment. So you can use this one to uh, using the real phone, switch the real phone uh, between your real phone and uh, the uh, virtual phone. So if you like, like here, just real phone and the virtual phone. And you can play the Google uh, YouTube on the background, just uh, uh, switch off your screen, then it can still can be played the sound in the background. Then when you are doing the jogging and uh, sports, doing some sports, then you can listen to the YouTube video sound, like the music or the talk shows, just for relax. So it's very useful for you. So if you like my sharing, just to sum up this video and subscribe the channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.